do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So we got a really cool video game tutorial today for the PS2, and we're going to be showcasing a program called HDL Batch Installer. It's basically a GUI interface program that helps you install games to a PS2 internal hard drive pretty easily. So here are some high level details of what it can do. It can install multiple games in less than five clicks, or you can extract multiple games in less than five clicks. Rename multiple games at once, automatically assign the original game title during installation. For more advanced users, you could inject mini OPL into the game partition, hide games from HDD-OSD or PS2 BBN. And there's a, lo a lot of other features too that this particular uh, page does not talk about. But if you go to uh, download now via external site, this is where it will take you to the latest version of the GitHub to download the file. So here for my case, I downloaded the X64 version for my Windows 11 system. And then there's also like a website you can go to. So if you click on more info on GitHub page, pages, there's this other website that it goes to. It has a FAQ and um, it's got a lot of other good, good information. And if you have questions, you can definitely click the two links here or you can go to the Discord server. I know they're very active as well and they can probably help you out more than I can. So I just know the basics of the program. So what I have so far is I already downloaded a copy. I extract it on my desktop to its own folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the HDL batch installer, which is this application right here. And then um, here you get the, the program in the background and then the GUI will come up right here. So let me show you how I have used this so far personally. So in the beginning, I used to use WinHab, but this program is just so much easier to add games. And then if you want to delete games, you are not supposed to use this program. You have to delete it manually using, for example, you launch alpha on your PS2. So that's how you're going to do it for those who are curious. But you can use this program to say, like, for example, like do a massive game transfer. Let's say you have two PS2 hard drives connected on your PC. You can easily transfer titles from one hard drive A to hard drive B, for example. You can also format your hard drive. I'm not going to do that, but I know this is my PS2 hard drive that's connected to my computer through that interface. Search PS2 hard drive. So here, if you have a valid PS2 hard drive connected to your PC, it will detect it. In my case, I have a 64 gigabyte hard drive that I'm using for a test version here. And if you go to the browse button right here, you can say get the list and it'll tell you like what games you have currently installed and what is the type. So here's the game name, the ID, the size and uh, the media, you know, DVD or CD, for example. And if you don't know about something, you can definitely click the question mark for more um, information as well. I will showcase how to install a game a little bit later, but let me go th through some other sections here. So let's say that uh, you're a more advanced user. You could do this WNBD server. So if you have the IP address of your PS2, technically you have a method to connect to the PS2 over the network, but I've been told that that's very slow. May is good for transferring like art files or smaller files, but for game ISOs and things like that, it's probably not worth the time. It's probably better to connect the hard drive to your PC and do the transfer through USB, for example, or through SATA. Okay, hard drive management. So there is some information if you go over the actual button. Some of these have um, tool tests, but some do not. HDD Manager gives you just another look at what's on the hard drive, for example, and the partitions and everything, I guess. Or you can also create a partition. Um, if you're a more advanced user, you can use some of these inject OPL launcher, modify header, recover MBR, inject MBR. I know that the uh, mount HDD partition, that's pretty interesting. If you have the drivers installed correctly, uh, what you can do is, let's say, for example, you can mount the OPL, mount it to a particular drive and say mount. And then afterwards, you can like open the drive under Explorer, and then you can transfer like art files. But for me, um, I think there's something going on with my computer setup. So this doesn't work properly, yeah, at least not in Windows 11, not, at least not in my particular version. But I think it works in other versions. So go ahead, give it a try. You can also use the program to download OPL art files. And once you do that, then within the subdirectory of this HDL batch installer, there's a folder where you can basically copy and paste your art files. Uh, let's say you want to do it to your, your USB thumb drive separately and then use you launch out to copy those art files into the plus OPL partition on your PS2 or you could definitely go through this other method if it works for you of course where you mount that OPL partition on your computer and then copy those art files uh, that way but I'm not going to showcase that today but it's because it's not working for me uh, config settings if you're more advanced um, you can look through these settings here and tweak it to your heart's desire but I just leave it as the default settings about you can update the program other other information downloads you can update these certain items or the game title database and download icons package 
if you want to get more visual different with your your games i guess for browsing on your ps2 okay so in this case i want to install a game so here i go to search the games in my case i am going to install grand theft auto 3 today because that's a game that's not currently on my hard drive uh if you change your mind you can say clear the list so you can clear the list for example let's say that you have a game installed you can definitely right click and say extract the game download assets transfer games to another ps2 hard drive let's say you want to rename the game you can certainly do that um and there's some other features here that if you're more familiar with you can certainly do that but let's go ahead install the game so search games let's go to gta3 here and say install and then depending on your interface medium usb i'm using a usb 3.0 to say adapter right now or you can also connect it if you have a SATA connection to your PC to the motherboard, you can do that. Here you can see the timeline progress bar. So I'm going to be done in about six, five seconds and whatnot. So not, not bad. And I think it's a good program where you're going to do, let's say, like a whole bunch of PS2 games or even one game too. That's perfectly fine as well. Okay, so everything's done. So now what I'm going to do is I can close out the program. So let's say quit there. And then go to my USB here and eject my dongle adapter. And then I'm good to go. So the next portion of this video tutorial, I'm just going to do a quick showcase of my PS2 with the hard drive connected and just show OPL and show the, the new game I just added and uh, have a lot of good time. So with that said, let's do this. All right. So for this next portion of the video tutorial, we're just going to do a quick test that showcases um, the PS2 working after I installed the game using the HDL Bash installer. So let's go ahead and run my o OPL program. And I'll show you my setup real quick if you guys are interested. Um, I don't have any cover art right now at the moment, but you could easily enable it and mess around with it. So if I go to settings, I basically have HDD device start mode to auto, and then of course you can do whatever else you want, but I have it to default menu as hard drive games basically. So anyways, we see that the hard drive automatically detected my games. Here's the newest game I installed today, Grand Theft Auto 3, so let's go ahead and give that a try. And I will say game compatibility list, um, they're, they're online, so you can definitely find a lot of games for... Uh, let me lower this down a little bit. So there's a game compatibility list online, so check, go ahead and take a look at your favorite game to see if it's hard drive compatible. Uh, hopefully it is, otherwise you got other ways to play your games like USB or SMB. Or if you're lucky, maybe you got a PS2 that can run free DVD boot and then you can do like self disc boot games. But anyways, Grand Theft Auto 3, game works fine. No issues, let me just get in real quick. So yeah, if you're a fat PS2 user, I would highly recommend you give this program a try. It's definitely easier and I think it's more modern. It has a lot of bugs fixed compared to the old school WinHit program. And... I highly recommend it. Of course, if there's a feature or setting you don't really know how to use, by all means, go to Discord, go to the PSX forum. I'm sure they can help you out as well. All right, cool. So clearly we can see that this game works fine. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.